When it comes to managing diabetes, diet plays a critical role. Eating the right foods can help keep your blood sugar levels in check, while the wrong foods can cause spikes that can be detrimental to your health. With the rise of genetically modified organisms, or GMOs, in our food supply, it's important to be aware of which GMO foods might be best avoided if you have diabetes. Let's explore some of these foods, keeping in mind that making informed choices can significantly impact your health and well being. But before we continue, if you appreciate all the information and the research that goes into making a video like this, it does help out tremendously if you hit the like button and hit subscribe. Thank you, and let's begin. Corn is one of the most prevalent GMO crops and finds its way into many different food products. Corn syrup, corn oil, and cornmeal are just a few examples of corn derivatives that are widely used in processed foods. High fructose corn syrup, or HFCS, is particularly concerning for those with diabetes. Studies have shown that HFCS can lead to insulin resistance, increased blood sugar levels, and obesity, all of which are risk factors for diabetes complications. Even whole corn, though less processed, can still cause blood sugar spikes due to its high glycemic index. If you have diabetes, it's wise to limit your intake of corn and corn based products, especially those that are highly processed. Soybeans are another major GMO crop. GMO soybeans are often used to produce soy oil, soy protein, and various soy-based additives found in many processed foods. While soy itself can be a good source of protein and other nutrients, the genetically modified versions may carry potential risks. Some studies suggest that GMO soy can affect insulin and glucose metabolism. Moreover, the high levels of omega 6 fatty acids in soy oil can promote inflammation, which is already a concern for people with diabetes. Choosing organic or non GMO soy products might be a better option if you want to include soy in your diet. Canola oil, derived from GMO canola, is commonly used for cooking and in processed foods. While it is often marketed as a healthier oil due to its lower saturated fat content, the genetic modifications and the refining process can make it less ideal for those managing diabetes. Canola oil has a high omega-6 to omega-3 ratio, which can contribute to inflammation. This inflammation can interfere with insulin signaling and glucose metabolism, making blood sugar control more difficult. Opting for healthier fats, like olive oil or avocado oil, can be beneficial for maintaining stable blood sugar levels. Sugar beets, another widely grown GMO crop, are used to produce a significant portion of the sugar found in processed foods. Like high fructose corn syrup, sugar derived from GMO beets can lead to rapid spikes in blood sugar levels. Frequent consumption of such sugars can contribute to insulin resistance and weight gain, complicating diabetes management. To minimize these risks, it's advisable to limit your intake of foods with added sugars, especially those derived from GMO sources, and instead focus on natural sweeteners like stevia or monk fruit. Potatoes have also been genetically modified to resist pests and improve shelf life. While potatoes are a staple in many diets, they have a high glycemic index, which can cause rapid increases in blood sugar levels. GMO potatoes might pose additional concerns due to potential changes in their nutritional profile. For those with diabetes, it may be beneficial to choose non-GMO potatoes and to consume them in moderation, favoring sweet potatoes or other lower glycemic alternatives. Papaya is one of the few fruits that have been genetically modified to resist certain viruses. While fruit is generally considered a healthy option, the high sugar content in papaya can lead to spikes in blood sugar levels, particularly if consumed in large quantities. If you enjoy papaya, it's best to consume it in moderation and to choose non-GMO varieties when possible. Incorporating a variety of fruits with lower glycemic indices can help manage blood sugar levels more effectively. Aspartame, though not a food itself, is a common artificial sweetener derived from GMO sources. 
Found in many sugar-free products, aspartame is often used by those with diabetes as a sugar substitute. However, some studies suggest that aspartame may negatively affect insulin sensitivity and glucose metabolism. It may also contribute to cravings for sweet foods, leading to higher overall sugar intake. Considering natural alternatives like stevia, erythritol, or xylitol can be a healthier way to satisfy your sweet tooth without the potential downsides of aspartame. Animal products can also be influenced by GMOs, as livestock are often fed GMO grains such as corn and soy. The impact of consuming meat, dairy, and eggs from animals raised on GMO feed is still a subject of ongoing research. Some concerns include the potential for changes in the nutritional content of these products and the introduction of GMO residues into the human diet. Choosing organic or grass-fed animal products can reduce exposure to GMOs and support better overall health. One of the less obvious sources of GMOs is processed foods. Many packaged and convenience foods contain multiple GMO ingredients, from corn syrup and soy lecithin to canola oil and sugar from GMO beets. These processed foods are often high in unhealthy fats, sugars, and additives, which can be particularly harmful for individuals with diabetes. By focusing on whole, unprocessed foods and cooking from scratch, you can better control the quality of your diet and minimize your exposure to GMOs. Finally, the best for last, cottonseed oil. While not as commonly discussed, cottonseed oil is often used in processed foods and for frying due to its low cost. Cotton is not a food crop, but its seeds are used to extract oil. The majority of cotton grown today is genetically modified to resist pests. The oil extracted from GMO cottonseed can contain residues of pesticides and other chemicals used in cotton farming. For those with diabetes, consuming cottonseed oil can contribute to inflammation and oxidative stress, both of which can exacerbate diabetes complications. Choosing healthier cooking oils and reading ingredient labels carefully can help you avoid this hidden source of GMOs. In conclusion, being aware of GMO foods and their potential impact on diabetes management is crucial for maintaining good health. Corn, soybeans, canola oil, sugar beets, potatoes, papaya, aspartame, animal products from GMO-fed livestock, processed foods, and cottonseed oil are some of the top GMO foods to consider avoiding or limiting. By making informed choices and prioritizing whole, non-GMO foods, you can better manage your blood sugar levels and support your overall well-being. Remember, the key to a healthy diet is not just about avoiding certain foods, but also embracing a balanced and varied diet that provides the nutrients your body needs to thrive.